It has been just shy of a year since CPS Energy raised its base rate. So are you ready for another one? Yeah, the utility is still forecasting the need for yet another hike. But Gary Berger tells us we still don't know just how much. <laughs> Next year. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not news any CPS Energy customer wants to hear. Not happy about it. I think it's unfortunate. The utility isn't planning any new rate increases for the fiscal year it just started in February. The year we're just starting as a bridge year to additional funding. The 3.85% increase to the base rate that took effect last March was the first rate hike in eight years. At the same time, the utility also increased the fuel adjustment charge to recover costs from the 2021 February freeze. But even a year ago, the plan had been to have further rate hikes in 2024 and 2026. The placeholder figure for the increases that officials used at the time was 5.5%. Though the chief financial officer of CPS team has wouldn't get into how close that could be to reality. To we are having our team spend this spring and, and, and summer redoing the forecast and you know, we'll come back with a, a sharp estimate. Last year's hike was sold as being needed for infrastructure, staffing and technology needs. Paczynski says it will be similar issues this time around. I mean, we're in a high investment era, both because we're in a transitional um, space in terms of technology from a generation perspective and because our city continues to grow. And that's just not new growth. That's about um, infrastructure maintenance and um, repairing a lot of the older equipment we have. While customers worry about how they'll pay. Probably had to pick up an extra job or something. Now, the city of Santa, or rather CPS Energy, is also dealing with a huge number of unpaid bills, $196 million that they're still trying to collect. Now, it's not clear yet whether or not this will play a role in how the rate hike is determined. Live at CPS Energy headquarters, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.